Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Byron Lazine. And on this video, we're going to talk about how the Fed's decision to in increase interest rates three times in 2022, as well as speed up the tapering of bond purchases is going to impact the 30 year fixed mortgage rate going into next year. All right, so where's the mortgage rate right now? It's at about 3.2% here at the end of December as I'm filming this. And that's up about a half a percent from last year. So the 30 year fixed rate has been going up. Now, the mortgage interest rate is not directly correlated to the federal interest rate. These are two different things. There is not a direct correlation. There is an indirect correlation, which we'll talk about in a second. First, the 30 year fixed follows the 10-year treasury. Historically, it's going to follow that 10-year treasury. So if you really want to follow where the 30-year uh, fixed rate is going, follow the 10-year. As that goes up, the 30-year will typically always follow that. But there is an indirect impact on what the federal bank just did, what the central bank just did by increasing interest rates three times in 2022. One of those is investors their long-term look on the economy has now changed, right? Money is going to cost more and they're gonna look at, at mortgages differently than they have over the last 18 months. Another big deal here is that the central bank is not going to be buying these mortgage-backed securities at the same rate that they've been buying since 2022. In fact, they're gonna reduce that even faster than originally expected. So they were basically the sole buyer of mortgage-backed securities from the start of the pandemic until now, okay? What that did was created a refinance boom for the mortgage industry. Everybody was refinancing their home because interest rate rates on a 30-year fixed mortgage went to all-time historic lows. Some people were getting locked in like in the low twos at one point, two and a half. Just a year ago, again, you could have locked in at 2.75. Now you're at about 3.2, right? So this created a lot of people that were in the fours and the fives on their interest rate to go to the bank or, or go to a new bank and refinance their home. Now we're starting to see some more cash out refinances. And you'll probably in the beginning of this year, anyone who hasn't refinanced their home is probably gonna be rushing to do so, right? So that created, according to Mortgage Banker Association, $2.32 trillion worth of volume in the last year, refinances. That's expected to drop next year to $860 billion. So banks, people who are writing these 30-year fixed mortgages, mortgage brokers, they're gonna be out a huge portion of their business that they've been used to the last 12 to 18 months they're going to have to make up that money, that revenue that they make off of selling 30-year fixed mortgages somewhere else. One way to do that is by increasing the interest rate on the 30-year fixed loan. Now, that may not necessarily attract more buyers, right? More purchasers. You may actually see what I believe is going to happen, a swarm of buyers in January, February, and more March that want to get locked into these low interest rates hitting the market, you're going to see more multiple offers late winter and early spring than you might have even seen in the spring market of 2021. So guess what? Home values are going up. I think Goldman Sachs and Zillow is predicting, they're both predicting a 13 point, uh, you know, 13 and a half percent increase in 2022. I think they're going to be right because there is going to be a real surge of buyers in the beginning of this year that want to capitalize on these low interest rates before they go up too much later on in the year. How much will they go up? Lending Tree is predicting that by the end of the year, they'll go up to 4%. Navy Federal Credit Union is projecting by the end of the year, they'll go up 3 and a, three to 3.7% uh, 3 rather, right? So we're at 3.2, so they're going to go up about a half percent according to Navy Fed and almost you know a full percent according to Lending Tree. If they go up full percent, historically, you'll start to see in the months after that real estate values go down about 10%. That's what's historically happened. They're obviously gonna get pushed up here in the beginning of the year because inventory is low and people are going to be, again, rushing into lock into these low interest rates, okay? What happens to the buyer that is, what's the difference rather for the buyer from 3.2 where you can buy a house today to 4%? Let's just take a $300,000 home, 30 year fixed mortgage. If the, the difference on your monthly payment from 3.2 to 4% is about $135 a month. So for somebody with their, you know, 
debt to loan ratio here is, you know, is that 135 is going to mean something. That's when you start to see values kind of push down. That's more of a 2023 problem. You know, if it takes all year for these interest rates to get up to four, you'll start to see that impact, I believe, in 2023. But I hope that was helpful on how the federal, uh, federal bank decision is going to impact mortgage rates here in 2022. Again, if you really want to follow mortgage interest rates, follow the 10-year treasury as that goes up. Historically, you can almost set your watch to it. The 30-year fixed is going to increase. Uh, all signs are pointing towards an increase this year based off of what we discussed, the mortgage-backed securities going away. There will be buyers. There will be buyers for the mortgage-backed securities, but it won't necessarily be uh, you know, as many coming from the central bank, it's going to create more volatility in that interest rate. So if, if you have any further questions on this, please put it in the comments. I'll answer you either directly in the comment or in a future video, but I will look at every single comment and answer those questions that you may have. If this was valuable, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.